Hey all, welcome back to the channel. I'm glad to be here again today. As you can see from the thumbnail and from what we're looking at right now, this is another Ableton Push 3 video, okay? And it's um, tailored, from my perspective, these videos are tailored to kind of newbies of using the Ableton Push, especially the Ableton Push 3, which is what I have here. And the one, the version that I have, this device is the controller version. But most of these small tips and little tricks that I upload and share with you can be generally applied to this controller version or the standalone or sometimes even the push two or even the push one. Okay, when, when I remember, um, I will make that distinction of what I'm telling you, if it, which machine it will apply to and which one it should work to or ones it should work to. Today's video is just again on about navigation because I think when you're first, when you're new to this device and you're first playing around with it, it can be a little bit tricky in terms of, you know, what you're trying to get out of your brain, what you're feeling at the moment and how you're trying to express yourself and capture that expression in this device. Now I've had this for over a year now and I, I, I still highly recommend the Ableton Push 3. I, I even still tell people and recommend to get the just the controller version. If you have like a quite a powerful powerful laptop or if you've got like a Mac or something and you've got Ableton on there, it really is a really killer combination. If you do travel a lot and you find yourself in different environments, then I would say, yeah, probably the standalone might be a, a good option as well. But that, I think that's kind of pricey for what it is in terms of the performance you get. Right, let's get into it. Today I'm talking about navigating your projects when you have more than eight tracks. I found this to be a bit of a, a pain at the beginning in terms of how to quickly navigate to my tracks number 9, 10, 12 or whatever that I don't immediately see in the screen right now. Okay? Okay? So most of the time I have more than eight tracks and it's wonderful that you can access up to eight of them at a time and really either go into the um, go into the session view mode on the screen or on your pads here where you have the note mode on your pads or you can go to the session mode on your pad as well by pressing the session button it's really good you know to be able to have these different views where you can go into a clip view of any one of your eight tracks and you can go into the mixer view of any one of your eight tracks and you can go into the device view of any one of your eight tracks at a time but what if I want to bounce quickly to track number 12 because I know I've got a baseline on there and I want to do some adjustments to the clip, a clip that's on one of those, in one of those um, sessions, or I want to adjust a device on track 12, a, a, an effects device, um, an effects unit or something. And, you know, I, I want to adjust that quickly and I want to quickly jump to that track. How do I do that? Now, if you're using the software and you're using this, looking at the screen, using your trackpad or mouse, or whatever, that's fine. But the whole point of this device, I find, is to not really look at the screen and to use it as little as possible and to really get into this and flow with this device, okay? So as I was saying, I found it a bit of a pain to jump to a track, from track two to track 12, from track two to track, 15 or whatever, whatever I'm not seeing now. So the workaround I want to share with you and some other suggestions I'm gonna to provide to Ableton as well is this. Okay, let's go. At the moment, you can see I'm on track number two. Why am I on track number two? Because you can see that it's highlighted in white and the other tracks have the same color, the buttons under the tracks, I should say, have the same color as the name, okay? So say now I'm on this, I'm on this device or this track and I want to jump to number 12. How do I quickly do that? Previously what I was doing, and let me apologize if my audio is a little bit over the place. I'm using a new mic system. I'm hoping to get a new one next month, a DJI mic. In the meantime, I'm just kind of uh, going with the flow. In, when I'm in the note mode, yeah, on the device, because normally most of the time, I'm using the note mode on the pads, not the session view mode where I can play 
individual clips and play individual sessions. I'm talking about when I'm in note mode, this is the view I'm in most of the time. And if I wanna go from track number two to track number 12, you've kind of really got two options really. You can use the jog dial and individually, okay, it doesn't seem to be working at the moment. Let me see. Okay, and go back to device view and see if that happens. Okay, it doesn't work in device view, sorry. So I've gone into session view on the screen and I'm using the jog dial and I'm pressing it individually to get across. Let me just use this hand so that it's not blocking the camera to get across to uh, track number 12, okay? And if I wanna jump back now to track number one or back to number two, then I can just do the same thing, which is very tedious and very slow. And yes, it's the same thing with the session D-pad. I can do that or to make it even quicker, I can just hold it and let it speed all the way across. Same with the jog dial, just hold it and it speeds all the way across. And nine times out of 10, what happens for me is I zoom way past the track I want to, yeah? I want to be a little bit more definitive in my actions, okay? So, I mean, I've been doing this for the longest time and I don't really think it's the best workflow if you want to jump from one specific track to another, yeah? Now, what I was saying before in one of my previous videos, one way I found to quickly say, now go, now go back to track number one, is to press the leftmost button and then you've only got one button push or one jog dial push to get back to that first one. Or if you want to go to track 12 again, press the rightmost button uh, track, in this case, track number eight, and then you've only got like a few uh, button presses to get to that track 12 or to track 16 or whatever, okay? Or like I said, it might be just easiest to just hold the jog dial or hold the uh, session D-pad buttons, left and right buttons. I don't like that. I don't like that. My tip for you today is if you want to use the hardware to get to your other tracks, track 16, track 18 or whatever, is to do this. What I suggest you do is, now if you work in session mode all the time, it doesn't really matter, this doesn't apply to you, yeah? But if you work in note mode on your pads most of the time, I suggest you do this. On track number one, I want to go to track number 12 directly. Hold down and keep holding your session view button. Whilst doing that, go to the page button, press it and let's go. And you can go directly to track number 12. I'm now on track number 12 and I can do whatever I want and select whatever clip I want to. Um, I can go and if there was a clip that was selected, I can go and start messing around maybe with the MIDI events in there. I can start going to the mixer view and adjust the levels and so on and so forth. Whatever device I had on that track, I can go to into it and start uh, playing around with its configura configuration or whatever. And say I want to now jump back to track number three. It's just a repeat of the same thing. Hold down the session view button. You see the left page button is highlighted there. Press that, let go, track number three. Boom, Bob's your uncle. Okay, so let's just recap that one more time. Okay, so, okay, I'm in track number three now. I wanna go to the rightmost track that I've got in this project. So session view, hold it, go across, let go, and I've gone to the fur furthest track, which just happens to be track number 12 on this particular project. And if I held down the session view and I had more tracks, I could just press, keep pressing the page button to keep going across and across to my other tracks. Then eventually I will get to my sends because as you know, in Ableton, the sends and then the master track are always at the right most in your project. Okay, so that's it basically. Quick navigation to get to your first batch of eight tracks. I'm holding down session view, page, boom, let go, go into any of my first eight tracks, okay? Now, obviously, if you work in session view mode on your pads, I'm not talking about the screen and this button here, I'm talking about on your pads, then Bob's your uncle because you've always got uh, you've always got this page forward and backward accessible at all times, okay? So it doesn't make any difference to you, okay? Now, one of the things I was saying I wish Ableton would do 
is if I go back to the note mode on my pads, I don't know why they don't have the page buttons enabled by default, but maybe that might be something they might consider doing. I'm sure there's an argument or reason why they haven't done that, but if they did enable page navigation, or I should say um, batches of eight track navigation by just enabling these page backwards and forwards buttons, that would be great because you wouldn't have to hold down, go into session view temporarily and start doing this, you know, this finger exercising thing. It would just be accessible straight away. And I think I would really love for them to do that. Okay. And as I say, if you do have this hardware, I mean, it's a shame that you have to go back and look at your screen just to quickly go to your furthest most batch of tracks and then come back to the device. I mean, let's try to make sure we keep our concentration on the device Ableton, okay? That would be really good. So my request is just to enable these page backwards and forwards buttons from the note mode, the pad note mode view. That would be excellent, okay? Okay, I'm just wanna quickly go and cover one thing that I would like to, um, Ableton to, um, if they can update this, I'm sure they can do it in the software update as well, is if you do use your, a combination of your hardware, looking and concentrating on your hardware and your laptop screen or monitor, one thing I notice is a bit of a bug is at the moment you can see I have track number four highlighted, okay? Because it's white. Sorry about that noise. That's just uh, me pressing the buttons. <laughs> so I've got track four selected here on the hardware and I'm in device view. So I'm looking at this operator device on track four on my Ableton Push 3. So what I'm gonna do is go into Ableton on my computer in the software, and I'm now going to select track 12. Okay, and what just happened? Now, I'm still in device view, but I'm now on track 12. So if you look at my software, track 12 is selected in Ableton, but what's going on here? On the hardware, I'm seeing the device view of track 12, but I'm still seeing tracks one to eight. What ideally should happen is these tracks should shuffle along and show me track number 12 here. So whatever is on my computer screen tallies up with this Ableton push, and this is not happening. And this has been from day one. And I don't think Ableton, I don't know if it's in a developer's um, pipeline to fix this, but it's not uh, working. So let me go back in the software and select track four again. Again, track four selected, showing me the device view track four and this relevant uh, device view page for the operator, okay? Let me go to track 10 and see what happens. Again, I've jumped across to track track 10, which doesn't, oh, it does actually have um, two devices in it, but this particular one doesn't happen to have any parameters mapped. But that's not my, I mean, that's like another issue altogether when you have third party plugins that don't have their parameters mapped, but that's another issue altogether. My issue at the moment is that this hardware is not reflecting what's on my screen. Now, an interesting thing that happens is if I actually go across to one track, either right or left, depending on if I have extra tracks to go across. See what, look what happens. Okay, you see the tracks one to eight that were previously shown have now moved across and the screen on this device and the pad layout is now reflecting what I'm seeing on my screen, on my computer screen, as in I have track number, let's have a look, 11 actually, doesn't have the number, but that's track number 11 selected on my software. And it's now showing me I have this track selected on a hardware. Okay, so Ableton, if you're watching, this is something I think you should uh, sort out. Basically, if I jump into track number one now on the software, this should move across on Ableton, but it doesn't. So I'm selecting track number one. And again, it stayed there, but if I move, you see, because I've got track number one, the leftmost track selected, I can't go back because there is no track zero, if you understand what I'm saying. 
So if I press this button or the drop down, then all of a sudden it will line up. But did it line up correctly? No, because I actually had track number one selected and it only moved to show me track number two. So to go back to track number one, I have to go back again. This is messy, Ableton. This needs to be sorted out. And I'm sure it can be done in the software. It seems to be quite an easy thing to do, but uh, probably just takes a little bit of time to actually implement it properly. Anyway, that's what I wanted to highlight today about navigating. Just to quickly recap, if you spend most of your time in notes mode or the melodic mode on your in your pads with this button highlighted, and regardless of whatever um, mode you have selected up here, whether you're looking at session mode on the screen, clip uh, mode or mixer or device mode, you can quickly navigate to your other tracks if you have more than eight tracks by quickly holding the session view mode and pressing the page button. And depending on how many batches of eight tracks you have, you can quickly just let go and go to any one of those eight tracks on that particular page. And if you want to quickly jump back to the first batch of eight tracks, again, session view, hold it down, press the page button once, let go, and select any one of your tracks, okay? Hope that was useful. If you want to discuss this further, leave a comment down below. I'd be more than happy to delve a little bit deeper in this topic. Hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.